we have a Supreme Court Justice, Supreme Court of the United States, one of nine, one of the most powerful positions in the country, highest court in the land, Supreme Court Justice, who would not define what is a woman. This is where we are in our society, and it's never happened before, never happened in modern human society. And imagine five years ago or 10 years ago predicting that this would happen, where defining what is a woman would somehow become difficult. What is a woman? One of the greatest truths that we have, something that before was never an issue, something that was always easily defined. There are approximately 8 billion humans on this world, and every single one of them is the result of a mother and a father. Every single one of them is the result of a biological man and a biological woman. The amount of people, the number of people out of 8 billion on this earth that are, that are the result of something different than a biological woman and a biological man is zero. And it extends beyond that because every single mother and father are the result of a mother and father and so on and so forth for millions of generations going back through evolution before the species called Homo sapiens even existed. This is one of the greatest truths we have. This is the greatest truth of biology. This is the greatest truth of evolutionary biology and where we are at as a society in 2022 is somehow for certain people, but not an insignificant number, uh, they're not unable to define what is a woman. So Matt Walsh does this documentary and it's necessary. And what it says about our society that this documentary is necessary is that our society is going in a crazy deranged direction. Because if you can't answer one of the greatest truths we have, how can anybody stand on truth? How can anybody stand on, on what is reality? And now they're trying to confuse children with uh, this, this craziness. Now, the other side will talk about gender and gender identity and gender is this giant spectrum and there's so many of them. Okay, so what? It's still gender identity. Gender identity doesn't change the fact that you are born a bio, biological male or a biological female. And even hermaphrodites, which you can argue, okay, there's some complication while well, somebody has uh, some certain female anatomy and male anatomy, but even with hermaphrodites, they can either uh, impregnate or they can get, preg get pregnant. And they're not even part of this conversation. The whole conversation is about identity as if that means more than reality. Now, I've come across, in, in, in my life, I've come across a transgender woman, went by Aaron, you know, had an Adam's apple, had broad shoulders, masculine features, but she obviously identified as a woman. The, the dress, the makeup, the hair, I refer to as a, her as a her because obviously that's what she identified as but that's not what she was biologically. It's a biological male identifying as a woman. And we have to somehow treat these trans people like they don't know the truth. These trans ex extremists have stolen the voice of trans people. They don't speak for all trans people and given us this insane notion that trans people must only be referred to as what they identified what they identify as, you can't acknowledge the reality of how they were born because if you do, oh my gosh, that'll cause trans suicide. You're transphobic. You're responsible for suicide rates. Well, actually, when you look at the suicide rates, they're high with people choosing to get surgery and then regretting the surgery. So ignoring the truth, lying, for these insane trans activists that don't speak for the trans community, most of them aren't even trans, to try to uh, save people from committing suicide 
is such a lie. It's so perverted. It's such a distortion of the truth. It's absolutely insane. Identify. You were born biologically a male. You identify as a woman. Fine. But that doesn't change the reality. I could identify as a dinosaur. It doesn't change the reality that I am a human being. There are people that identify as all sorts of things. There's people that spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in plastic surgery to make themselves look like a cat. It doesn't mean that they actually are a cat. It doesn't change what they were born as biologically. So we are at a place in our society where you can't answer one of the greatest truths that we have, what is a woman, and I wish we didn't have to have this conversation. I wish we didn't have to talk about it. But the fact that we have a Supreme Court justice, we have, and Matt Walsh was in, in this documentary, he's a modern day Socrates. Socrates, the Oracle said Socrates was the wisest man in Athens. And he said, that must be impossible. Obviously there's people wiser than me. So he went to experts and he asked them simple questions. And per Socrates, wisdom begins by a definition of terms. Somebody proclaimed to be an expert at justice. Okay, what is justice? And then they would give their definition. He would cross-examination, cross-examine them, challenge their definition, and they got flustered because they weren't used to defending themselves. Now we have Matt Walsh, modern-day Socrates, going to so-called experts and saying, what is a woman? And they can't define it, meaning they are not wise. They think they're wise they're not wise. They don't, they can't define it. They don't know anything. They're not wise. And they can't even define one of the greatest truths that we have. So this was an important documentary to have during our times. We have to make people aware of the perversions of reality, what they're trying to do, that they're lying when they try to hijack the voices a trans people and say that, oh, you must do this uh, to, to save lives. That is a complete lie. It's a complete version. We need to stop and we really need to protect the children. Now, the number of trans people, it's so rare. It is such a tiny minority. The estimates are something like one out of 30,000 to one out of 100,000. So it's not zero. There are certainly people out there that identify as, as not the sex that they were born as, and they need to act on that. I mean, Aaron wasn't doing this on a whim uh, with the dress and, and the makeup and, and the hair and identifying as a woman. That's not a, that's not a whim. That is real. And I will for, refer to her as her and she. No issue doing that. But these trans activists don't speak for Aaron because I had no indication at all that Aaron was a crazy nut job uh, that couldn't face reality. Aaron realizes that biolog biologically she was born a male but identifies as a woman, as so many other trans people. So we need to get away from this strange perversion of our society. We definitely have to keep the kids protected from having this gender confusion rammed down their throat, where once again, it's such a minority. And for the people that are trans, obviously, equality, respect, but equality doesn't mean we're going to mold our society around one in 30 to 100,000 people. Molding our society around that is crazy. And these crazy laws saying you can get fired or, or go to prison if you misgender somebody that goes by they or them, where does this even come from? It's not illegal for anybody to gender me any way they want. I go by he, but if somebody says she, my gosh, they're not going to be arrested, nor should they. This is insane and it says that our society is in, it's, it's, it's not going in the right way. We're in dangerous waters where we can't speak clearly about one of the greatest truths that we have. 
So that's my take on it. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Cisco, do we have to leave all our good friends now? Only until next time, Pancho. Adios, amigos. <laughs>